You want to make a lot of money? You want to be successful? How do I get from where I am to where I need to be? I didn't want to be rich. I just didn't want to be poor. I started it 10 years ago with a vision and two employees. And now we're 250 people. We'll do 150 million this year. And every day when I get off the elevator and I walk into my office, it, it's this feeling of accomplishment and satisfaction, knowing that I had this vision and a few years later, it's real. You know, when we were, when I was younger, my parents didn't speak any English. And uh, like many immigrants, uh, since I was a little kid, I, I was eight years old when we came to North America. And so I had to read the contracts you know, when my dad when my dad bought a house, <clears throat> I had to read the mortgage and go through the paperwork. And when I was around 18 or 17, I looked at being at that point, we were, you know, lower middle class. And I said, how do I get from where I am to where I need to be? And so I started calculating how much money I would have to make in order just to buy a house. And then I added the taxes into it and all the other stuff. And I realized how difficult it was going to be to accumulate capital. Because that's the hardest thing to do, is to accumulate capital. It's one thing to get paid a lot of money, but if you look at the tax system in North America, it's really hard to amass capital. And I just decided that I didn't want to be where I was. I didn't want to be middle class or lower middle class or mediocre. I just wanted to be great at something. Because I figured out that the people that I saw that were doing great things were fundamentally great at one thing. The analogy I always use is Peyton Manning gets paid $10 million a year. He doesn't get paid $10 million a year to tackle, to kick the ball, to play defense. He gets paid $10 million a year to do one task and do it really, really well. Nobody buys from you. Nobody makes you wealthy because you're okay at something. The world does not reward mediocrity, nor does it reward average. It only rewards exceptional. So you gotta find that one thing that you're good at, and you gotta become great at it. Because if you focus what you're not good at and try to become good at it, you're gonna run into somebody who is gonna clean your clock at it. When you think about success and you think about business and you think about being an entrepreneur everybody wants to talk about the good times and i always say to people it's easy to be an entrepreneur when the sun is shining it's easy to run your own business when there's good cash flow and people love you and there aren't many problems but have that same desire to do it when your biggest customer just left or do it when you don't have enough cash to make payroll or do it when you've got real problems at home and nobody cares being a great entrepreneur is the ability to stay focused and highly motivated when there's failure around you it's not your ability to handle success they'll decide how successful you'll be it's your ability to absorb failure.